Greetings and welcome back to Mr. Jules. Today in Mr. Jules episode we will test a fuse. Now this is a standard variety glass fuse commonly found in a lot of the equipment and the idea behind this is to hopefully illustrate why one should use a proper fuse uh, HRC type in the multimeters rather than this cheap variety. The fuse measures 20 millimeters in length by 5 millimeters in diameter and this is the standard type that you find in a lot of the electronic equipment this particular one is rated if I just find it T3.15 250 volts and so 250 volts AC so it's perfectly rated for the voltages that we are dealing with here but let's see how will it fail and whether that will have any catastrophic effects on the fuse itself so I've equipped Mr. Jules over here with uh, little clamps that should accept this fuse so I'm just going to get it installed here it is inside the chamber and now I've made a little addition to Mr. Jules to prevent in case of catastrophic failure to prevent the flap opening I've added a little rubber band on the side that should keep it from popping open and I will be testing a variety of different fuses and how they react in case of gross overload but today it's just this one I will be making Mr. Jules episodes are one explosion events so there will be more videos happening with different type of fuses so please do subscribe if you wish to see those as well but right now let's connect Mr. Jules to power supply load up Mr. Jules and we've got charging we should reach nominal 400 volts right now this is Mr. Jules a glass fuse 20 millimeters by 5 millimeters in 3 2 1 now that was spectacular And as you can see, let's disconnect the power. Mr. Jules hasn't even fully discharged, so you can see there is still quite a bit of charge. So fuse reacted really, really quickly. Um, if we just disconnect the power, I could hear little pieces of glass uh, flying around the room, so they still managed to get out of this contraption. I'm just going to use a stick to discharge it. There we go. Let's look at the aftermath. So as you can see there is quite a bit of smoke and the fuse is no more. This is what was this is what is left uh, after the fuse after being grossly overloaded and clearly the fuse done its job somewhat um, so it has broke the circuit before uh, Mr. Jules even fully discharged. The issue uh, with, with this type of fuse is it just didn't contain the explosion. It didn't contain what happened over there and simply disintegrated into lots of, uh, lots of pieces. What that means, this is not safe. So if you had this type of fuse in your multimeter, then in case you poked your probe somewhere where you shouldn't and the multimeter got grossly overloaded, this type of fuse will not contain the explosion. That means all that bright flash that you saw in the video will potentially go out through the case of the multimeter into your hands, cause severe burns or it might even cause electrocution because that bright flash plasma effectively is conductive, is like a short circuit. Fuses are important and fuse is not equal to fuse. Thank you very much for watching, that was Mr. Jules episode number one with a standard glass fuse. Subscribe for more random electronic stuff and more Mr. Jules videos. For the time being, take care.